What's up, family? Welcome back to another video. This is PJD. I'm back on the life series. Things I've thought about over the past 12 years when it relates to life as a man, but just as an adult in your 40s, you look at life different, man. It isn't the same feeling in your 20s. And I'm not even talking about physically. I'm just talking about mentally when you're trying to accomplish all these things. It isn't 30s where you're trying to figure out things to a certain extent. It's just a different, I don't even know how to explain it yet, because I, I just got here, but I'm making sense of it as the days go by. But one thing I, I think back on that I could share with anybody that is trying to, you know, make their way is, is anything you're trying to be consistent in, anything you're trying to improve, improve on, anything you're trying to achieve, we talked about they luck, being blessed, fortunate, all those things. But another thing that plays into that, being prepared, right, and doing the work that you need to do to put yourself in the best possible position so when the success and that opportunity come, you're ready for it. But part of that is always understanding your why. Understanding your why is what will drive you to be prepared. Understanding your why is what motivates some and what establishes the discipline for others. I think about when I joined the military. I went in much later than I wanted to just because of life happening and things happening, but I still went in and joined the reserves and I, I made up in my mind that I didn't want to be affected by any of the mind games that they play while you're there. So I just started training my body to endure the type of, you know, I know the physical training part of it is what they do to try to try to break you down with the yelling and all that other stuff and then they try to build you back up. But I went in basically already conditioned. Maybe it was easier because I was already adult with life experience, but every day I would wake up before 4 a.m. Just train myself and the days that I didn't want to get out of bed, I just always remember my why. It was because I did not want to be awakened to the sound of uh, drill instructors yelling in my ear and I'm frazzled, wondering what's going on. <laughs> and my drawers shook <laughs> like the young guys. Every day when they came in, most times my bed was made. I had my PT gear on or whatever I had to do that day. I was calm, I was collected, and it was just, it was unfazed. It, it didn't phase me. Uh, I was even killed. Even to this day, I still get up early like that or I'm able to turn it on to get up early like that because I understand the why behind it. As a dad, I don't have as a single dad, full-time dad, I don't have much margin for error when it comes to time, I feel like. I've always been somebody who's tried to do my best to manage my time to the best of my ability, but I never feel like I have enough time in a day, especially now. And I feel like once you turn 40, time goes faster. So much faster. Daddy! This is my wife. Press, this is press, my wife for so many press, things. Press, press. You want me to press this right here, buddy? Thank you. That's my wife. That's one of my biggest wives, man. We've had such a great time today. I think about all the challenges we face on the daily, the patience it takes, sometimes the energy a, a young boy has. And it's not, it's not easy, but it's so rewarding. So grateful for the opportunity to be a father. And having a why is what keeps a lot of people, a lot of guys, I think, from just falling off the deep end and going the other route and giving up. So anybody watching this who's going through tough times and thinking about giving up or anything, man, remember your why. It may be hard to find a why sometimes, but... You got to remember your why. And then, if you can't remember your why, understand that you are probably somebody else's why. And you, you might not even know it. 
also keep that in consideration don't be selfish don't check out don't just give up don't take the easy road out try to keep fighting man no matter what that's my spirit keep fighting even if you get punched in the mouth punch the teeth I wish a lot of young guys had to experience that so they wouldn't be so soft or so quick to just want to turn to violence and think that it's the end of the world to get punched in the face because it's not it just it builds character you know you got to keep going you punch somebody else in the face you get punched in the face you get up you keep going you don't have to go these drastic routes and just end people I'm going on a tangent now but a different thought but hopefully this video helps somebody with these life lessons these thoughts I've thought about over the past years appreciate you guys watching my name is PJ Lee until the next time remember your why